in environmental science. Uh, Non-renewable res energy resources we are discussing, there we are now coming to nuclear energy. Now, two concepts are there. Uh, we have discussed this concept in nuclear chemistry or physics that lectures uh, where uh, nuclear fission and nuclear fusion these two reactions are important now I am talking of here nuclear fission reaction first in case of nuclear fission element like uranium you are aware that atomic number 92 mass number 235 Keep in mind, the mass number is also important because 238 is not undergoing fission. This is bombarded by slow moving neutron. We are getting here barium plus krypton plus 3 slow moving neutron plus the most important thing, tremendous amount of energy. That energy, if you are utilizing properly, will solve maximum energy crisis in the world. That is very, very huge energy is released in this process. Now, these three neutrons, they are continuing their further attack on uranium. Again, they will continue their attack on uranium. And like that process goes continuously within 10 raised to minus x second, fraction of second, one millionth part of second we can consider, that is giving a chain reaction and explosion of bomb, nuclear bomb. Now, you are aware that nuclear energy is first used for destructive purposes on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. These two Japanese cities were destroyed with help of this nuclear bomb by America, USA. Now, this is the first nuclear bomb ever created in the world in modern days. Now, this nuclear bomb is really playing important role from that point in human life. No doubt, the discovery was not entirely credit goes to America in those days, particularly uh, before Second World War only. Many scientists were engaged in production of this nuclear weapon, particularly Germany initiated his project because this split of uranium is given by German scientists Otto Hahn and Strassmann. And then Einstein says if this reaction happened, tremendous energy will be liberated. And then onwards scientists focused on production of this tremendous energy. But after that incident, scientists decided to use this energy for peaceful purposes. Now, it was predicted that during 2000 AD, nearly 21% of world's requirement of energy will be fulfilled by this nuclear power in those days. But practically it is not happened because uh, in order to control out the reaction we require a rod of boron, cadmium like element. But apart from that in nuclear reactor safety measures are required. And that is proved more costly. Uh, let me clarify the concept. Uh, if we control out these real neutrons coming out, I can control out chain reaction. So switching on and off is quite easy because of this boron and cadmium rod. But uh, that is not only the way. It has steps involved enrichment of uranium. That uranium 235 is present along with uranium 238 and we have to increase amount of uranium 235 
which is actually 0.7 percent and we have to increase it greater than that and that process is bit energy consuming so tremendous energy is required for that and then one can obtain this product often whatever this barium and krypton like that different 20 elements are formed this is only i am giving you representative element but properly more than 20 elements fractions are formed they are having very high radioactivity and uh, uh, we are saying that is as half life period is very high so uh, it is said that if you use this uranium 235 just as one gram it is equivalent to 100 metric ton of pure anthracite anthracite now you are aware that is a variety of coal that is containing highest amount of carbon so this way one can say that nuclear energy is much more cheaper than whatever the coal and it is uh, not that uh, what we are saying uh, causing pollution but practically speaking it is not giving carbon dioxide but giving this type of radiations radioactive waste and that's why nuclear power is not that safe to use I'm not saying not at all safe but see what happens in present day we are using nuclear power today we are using this electricity obtained from nuclear power now whatever the best material is produced that will have a radioactivity value for several lakh years they will persist on earth what will you do we are dumping out this material usually method is that whatever the nuclear waste are produced that is completely packed out in lead container thick lead containers then usually in deserts we are preparing out under the ground cement concrete type room and in that room we are adding out this waste material and enclose the room and make ground as it is so this is the way we are using for what is the guarantee after lakh years the desert will be desert and jungle will be jungle no you are aware that in Rajasthan or whatever we are calling that as great Indian desert in old days it was not desert but now it is desert so this way the changes are occurring